Hey there fellow creators, welcome back. Today we have something really exciting to share with you all. In this video, we will delve into the captivating world of Unreal Engine's meta-human character and learn how to add emotions and feelings by tweaking their facial animations. So if you want your characters to truly come alive, stick around because we're about to unleash the magic. Let's dive right in. But before we get our hands dirty, let's quickly talk about what meta-human is for those of you who might be new to this amazing software. MetaHuman is an incredible tool within Unreal Engine that allows us to create stunningly realistic human characters for our games, animations, and other projects. But there's one thing that takes your MetaHuman characters from being lifelike to truly mesmerizing, adding emotions. Now, let's walk you through the step-by-step -step process of adding emotions to your MetaHuman character. Don't worry if you're new to animation, I'll guide you through it all. So this is a really simple project with a metahuman character and a background. And in order to add face mimics and emotions to our metahuman character, the first step is to create a new sequencer. Now with that done, I am going to add my metahuman character to the sequencer. But before that, let me just enlarge this area a bit. And simply let's add the MetaHuman's blueprint to the sequencer by drag it over here. But make sure that you're on animation mode, just change it from selection mode to animation. And after that, let's just go back to the outliner and drag our cine camera actor to the sequencer, just like that. And let me just enlarge the sequencer area to see better what we have here. And if you pay attention, we have two sections, the body section and face section, and we'll go on this face control board section. And if you expand this, you can see all the face components from this section, but right now we're not able to control them. But if you have selected the face control board on the sequencer and then press G button, you can see we have some handles and labels on our metahuman character, which allows us to control the facial components. But let me just add another viewport. And in this way, I am going to adjust the face mimics from this viewport and see the results from the other one. And let's just take a look on this label over here. But let me just move this viewport a bit lower and then resize it like this. And yeah, it looks good over here. And let's continue. So here we have face control sliders, which are used to adjust and manipulate specific facial features of our metahuman. And these sliders allow creators to modify various aspects of character's face to convey different emotions or expressions convincingly. For example, here we have the mouth slider, which is used to alter the character's mouth shape, such as curving the lips and it's crucial for conveying feelings and emotions like smiling, frowning, or puckering. And having many control points on a metahuman's face offers significant advantages in character animation and expression customizations. And these control points refer to the individual points or vertices on the character's face that animators can manipulate to create announced and lifelike facial movements. And just check this out with just a few simple adjustments in animation mode, we can make our character express a wide range of emotions, happiness, sadness, anger, surprise, and much more. And these subtle changes in facial mimics can completely transform the mood of your project and make it more relatable to your audience. And here are a couple of pro tips to make your character's emotions even more convincing. Pay attention to the timing, emotions aren't static. They evolve over time and animate your character's facial expressions to match the context and duration of the scene. And use reference material, observe how real people express emotions and try to replicate those nuances in your character's face. And by adding emotions to your metahuman characters, you'll create a deeper connection with your audience. And people relate to characters that feel human. And emotions are a powerful way to evoke empathy and engagement, whether you're making a game, a film, or an architectural visualization. Emotion-rich characters will take your projects to a whole new level. And you might be asking, why do we have so many control points over here? More control points allow for finer control over the character's facial muscles, and the abundance of control points allows for smoother and more fluid animation transitions. And by manipulating numerous control points, animators can add depth 
and complexity to the character's personality. Also, with a greater number of control points, animators can achieve a broader spectrum of emotions. This flexibility enables the character to convey a wide range of feelings from joy and excitement to sorrow and anger. And on the other hand, in storytelling, facial expressions play a vital role in conveying emotions and advancing the narrative. More control points empower animators to deliver powerful and evocative storytelling through facial performances. And I want to emphasize that the purpose of this video is to familiarize ourselves with the facial control points in MetaHuman. It's all about understanding the tools we have at our disposal before diving into the more advanced animation techniques like adding keyframes and creating complex facial animations. Well, that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about how to add feelings to your MetaHuman characters using Unreal Engine. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tutorials like this one. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Until next time, happy creating, and I will see you soon. Bye.